Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Today is Wednesday. I almost said Happy Tuesday. <laughs> It is Wednesday already. Oh my gosh, it's like Wednesday already. It's like midweek. <laughs> How's everyone doing this morning? We have a beautiful day here in the northwest corner of Connecticut. <clears throat> That's where I am. Some of you are located in other beautiful areas as well as warmer. <laughs> um, but it's chilly. It's definitely been a little chilly. Uh, it's a little cold for me, but... Um, but I need to get over that. I need to be outside. I love being outdoors with our father, you know, just being outdoors in his beauty and in his presence. And I need to get over the coldness. I really do because I need to do some more hiking and some more walking. Um, but yes, it is a definitely a gorgeous morning up here. I hope everyone is having a fabulous morning. And I hope you grabbed your cup of coffee or tea with you so, um, so that you can join me this morning. I am drinking coffee this morning. And I also have my curly cues this morning. That's what my husband called it, curly cues. <laughs> I just did not feel like blow drying my hair. <clears throat> I don't know what, you know, she's, she was such a sweet girl. I typically go to my stylist that is about almost an hour away. You know, she's been my stylist for years. Um, she's a dear friend. She's been a stylist, you know, my stylist for years. And I usually typically go to her. But <clears throat> I was booking my appointment at such a late time in, you know, in the year, and I knew she wasn't going to have anything open. So there is another salon that I typically go to that is local, and I won't even mention their name or anything like that. But, um, and she is so lovely. The stylist is lovely, but I just don't like the way she does my hair. <laughs> I mean, as far as the color and everything, it's great. I don't like the way she cuts my hair. So, um, so I have like dips in it and just you know things going on that every time I blow dry it straight it just does not come out the way I like it so anyway I gotta let it grow out a little bit so that I can go to my regular stylist in the springtime so enough of all of that <clears throat> who is celebrating Advent this week or Advent this month you know what I never really celebrated Advent until last year when I actually learned about Advent and knew what it was um, and I'm in I'm a part of another community that is celebrating Advent and doing it creatively. You know, there's a couple of them actually. And so, um, so I am, you know, celebrating Advent as well, you know, along with them, which is really cool. And so this whole week is about hope. And so for some reason, <clears throat> I was up in the middle of the night and God was talking to me <laughs> and I, you know, was just spending some, some alone time with him for a little bit before I fell back to sleep. And Hope kept coming up, hope, 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 hope. And it did, didn't dawn on me that, of course, the night before, I had done a little bit of a journaling, you know, just something creative of journaling on hope, you know, from reading um, chapter one of Luke, as I had shared with you guys, that that's another, another wonderful way to celebrate Advent as well, is um, reading, you know, one chapter a day from the book of Luke. And it leads to, you know, to Christmas Eve, it leads to Christmas Day. But um, <clears throat> so I was reading it and then I did um, some journaling and it actually did have the word hope in it, you know, so, so, the, so that is exactly what I wanted to share with you guys, you know, as much as possible throughout the week. And so, you know, if, if that is God's wish, but I am definitely going to be talking to you about hope beyond the ordinary because it again, um, from my reading from chapter one, it reminded me of you know, how God uses the ordinary to do just something amazing and something huge and big, doesn't he? Yes. So good morning, good morning to whoever is, is watching. Um, so before that, I would like to start us off with a prayer. <clears throat> Woo. Good morning, Lord. Father, thank you so much for another day one more day lord thank you again for one more day that we are healthy and alive and that we get to spend some time with you father in your presence thank you lord for that thank you for hope and thank you for just using the ordinary lord thank you for using me 
to do extraordinary things that I never thought would be possible or that I would ever be capable of, Father. Thank you for just using the ordinary to do extraordinary things for you and your will, Lord. Give us the courage to continue to believe and have faith, Father. Yes, believing in something that something that may happen, whether we see it or not, Father. Help us to always discover the extraordinary purposes that you have for us in our life every single day, Lord, to do your will here on earth, Father. And then, Lord, I ask for many blessings. Blessings on anyone that is watching and anyone that will be watching, Lord. Blessings in their lives, their finances, their families, their health. Many blessings on them, Father. And to keep their eyes and their hearts continuously focused on truth, focused on you. And to have their hearts just have hope, Lord, hope knowing that there is something so much better in the future for us, Father. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Yes, there is, isn't there? There is definitely something better for us in the future. <clears throat> so I'm going to read from a couple different scriptures. Actually, I'm going to read, basically it's one verse, and it's again from Luke 1. Um, from chapter 1 of the book of Luke, but I also want to read Mary's song of praises because I just find that it's just so beautiful and just so perfect. So this was when, um, let me actually go back so I can read 42 also from this verse. <clears throat> so again, it's chapter 1 of Luke. And this was when, uh, this is when Mary went to go visit her cousin Elizabeth. Elizabeth gave a glad cry and exclaimed to Mary, God has blessed you above all women and your child is blessed. Why am I so honored that the mother of my Lord should visit me? Interesting how she said that. Good morning, Melanie, I've missed you. When I heard your greeting, the baby in my womb jumped for joy. You are blessed because you believed that the Lord would do what he said. Wow. That is just such a beautiful moment, isn't it? She knew right away as soon as her baby, as soon as her baby jumped in her womb for joy, she knew, she knew right away. And that's just such a beautiful thing. And then I wanna to read to you also Mary's song of praises because it's just so beautiful. Because this is how Mary responded back to it. She was singing in praise. Oh, how my soul praises the Lord. How my spirit rejoices in God, my savior. For he took notice of his lowly servant girl. From now on, all generations will call me blessed. For the mighty one is holy and he has done great things for me. He shows mercy from generation to generation to all who fear him. His mighty arm has done tremendous things. He has scattered the proud and haughty ones. He has brought down princes from their thrones and exalted the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away with empty hands. He has helped his servant Israel and remembered to be merciful. For he made this promise to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Yes, amen and amen to that. Woo! What a beautiful thing that is. <clears throat> So God's love letter to you and to me, beloved daughter or son, I created you and I know what you're capable of. I know you don't see yourself the way that I do. It is hard for you to believe that I can make something extraordinary from something ordinary, but you are not ordinary. You are my chosen child. However, you will remain in a holding pattern until you begin to believe that I am all powerful and that I love you personally. 
I have a plan to use you to do something significant to further my kingdom here on earth. I've put you in a position to be blessed, but you must believe to receive that blessing. Mm -hmm. Have faith that I can do something big through you that brings glory to me. Amen. Love your Heavenly Father. God turned an ordinary teenager into the mother of the Son of God. Mary. He takes us and makes us daughters and sons of the Most High King for His Kingdom. Yes, to do the work that he needs to be accomplished here on earth. It's amazing what happens when we believe God can do something big through us so his power can be witnessed by the world. We are his witnesses here on earth. God uses the ordinary to do the extraordinary. Yes, he does. So I wanted to look up, I, every once in a while I'll look up like meanings behind certain words and I wanted to really look up the word of hope and how it relates to, to this devotion this morning. And hope is believing that something good may happen. And I want to share with you, faith means having a strong belief in something that you cannot see and has not yet happened. So those two work together, hope and faith, right? Yes, Mary believed and she rejoiced. She believed and she rejoiced. We have hope, you guys. We have hope for a future in our lives, for a better future for our families, for generations to come. We do, don't we? And Jesus, Jesus made that, made that happen for us. Yes, he did. Thank you, Jesus, for that reminder. Thank you, Lord, for using the ordinary. <laughs> Thank you for using me that I'm just an ordinary person, Lord, just like anyone else, Father. I'm no bigger or better than anyone. And you're using me to do amazing things for you on earth, Lord. Thank you for that. Wow. Whew. Okay. <laughs> I'm definitely PMSing. <laughs> I love you guys. I hope that was a blessing to you as it was to me. Go out there. Go out there and be a blessing to someone and show them hope. Hope for a better future just as Jesus did for us and just as Jesus does for us with his living word every single day. I love you guys, and God willing, I will be back again tomorrow morning. Have a great day, and I will see you again tomorrow. Love you. Bye.